Last time we looked at a special type of vector, the unit vector. A uh, unit vector we learned had a magnitude of 1, it was dimensionless, and uh, it contained the information about direction. We also learned about special types of unit vectors, the uh, i hat and j hat, that only point along the positive x or positive y axes, and using these to be able to write vectors in component form. So now, in uh, this module, we want to learn about adding vectors in compo component form. Let's take a, a particularly simple example to start with. Let's say I have a vector A, and it has a magnitude 5, and it points in the uh, positive x direction. So I can write it with like 5 i hat, and I can draw this vector, and it may look like that. And so then, if I have a vector b, and it has a magnitude 3, and it also points in the positive x direction, I can write it as 3i hat. And if I'm going to add uh, these two vectors together now, I'm, I want uh, to find c. What is c, which is equal to a plus b? Well, I could use the uh, tip-to-tail method here. I can put b on the, the tail of B on the tip of A, and now I have a new vector that covers this entire length, and it's pretty easy to, to figure out what this is. That is 5, and, and this is 3 more, so that's going to be 8 on the, on the number line. And so my resulting vector here is going to have a magnitude 8, and it also points along the x-axis, and so it's going to be uh, 8 i hat. And so this gives us a, uh, uh, a general way to be able to, an easy way to uh, do addition um, you, in vector form. If I were to write this out, uh, a is 5 i hat plus b, which is 3 i hat, and then I can combine the five the magnitudes together, three, all in the same direction. As long as I'm adding vectors in the same direction, I can simply add their magnitudes together. And that becomes a very powerful and simple way to add vectors in component form. In fact, if I were to just uh, go back up here, where I have A and B, and just sort of add them vertically here. I could just add my 5 and 3 together, 8 i hat. OK. So that's pretty easy to see in one dimension. Uh, and the same thing can uh, apply in two dimensions as well. So let's look at a more complicated addition problem. So let's say my first vector a is equal to uh, 5 i hat minus 3 j hat in component form, and I want to add to that a vector b, which is minus 2 i hat minus 2 j hat. And I want to know what is c, which is a plus b, question mark. Okay, well, let's first of all just take a moment and, and look at this uh, graphically. So A is going to uh, look something like this. It's, it has, uh, uh, goes out to the one, um, the tip is at an x-coordinate of 5 and a y-coordinate of negative 3. So B is going to look like this, it's got a uh, x and y component both of negative 2. So if I were to translate that, my b over the tip to tail method is going to uh, look something like that. And so my resulting vector is going to uh, be here. So I want to I want to find out what that vector c is, and uh, 
even though I'm not computing with numbers graphically, it gives me an idea of what the final uh, vector should look like. So how are we going to, to, to go about um, calculating this? Well, let's take a look. If I just have C here, which is A plus B, so that's equal to the A vector, which is 5 I hat minus, and instead of writing minus 3 J hat, I'm going to be explicit because uh, it is really plus a negative 3 times j hat. It's the uh, addition of the two vectors uh, fi 5 times i hat plus negative 3 times j hat. And so this is plus b, where plus b then is negative 2 times i hat plus negative 2 times j hat. And it is simpler to just have the minus signs in there, but I think this is, uh, at this point, nice to keep it explicit so we don't get confused on where the minus signs come from. These are simply all adding these vectors together. And, uh, and then the scalar that multiplies i and j may be a positive or a negative scalar. Okay, so now what I'd like to do, I'm now adding four vectors. And so I'd like to recombine the vectors that are pointing in the i hat direction. So here I'll have 5 i hat plus a negative 2 i hat. And then I'll combine those with the vectors pointing in the j direction, which is plus a negative 3 j hat plus a negative 2 j hat. And now we can combine these like we had before. So now we have 5 minus 2 i hat plus a negative 3 minus 2 j hat. And now we get our final answer, which is 3 i hat minus 5 j hat. And if we look, we can say, okay, it's, it's pointing in the right coordinate. It has a 3 for the, uh, the tip at x equals 3 and, and y equals minus 5, and that makes some sense. Now, if we go back up to, um, to here, uh, we can see a, a much faster way to do these, this type of arithmetic. If I just add these vertically, a plus b is equal to c, I add the x components together, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, i hat, and then I add the y components together, minus 5, j hat. And so this becomes a, a, a much simpler way and, and, and straightforward way to do these calculations. But looking at this, pro this process that we did here is an important because uh, it's important to know that what's going on, what allows you to do that, is the simple way you're just adding these four separate vectors together by combining the two vectors that point in the x direction, so you can add their magnitudes, the two, direct, the two vectors that point in the y direction, so you can add their magnitudes, and you get the resulting vector uh, that agrees with, with this method as well. Okay. So that's uh, a more advanced uh, example. I'd like to do one more that's, that's harder and just use the simplified method of, um, of adding the vectors. So let's give ourselves a vector d, which is equal to uh, 2 negative 2 i hat plus 4 j hat, e, which is 3 i hat minus 7 j hat, and f, which is equal to 5 i hat plus 3 j hat. And now, what I want to calculate is the vector d plus 2e minus 4 times f. And really, this, given there our technique in vector form, this is really not very hard at all. So I have, uh, we'll start over here, 
I'm going to start a new column because I have, uh, I'm multiplying by other terms. My D is just the same D I had before, 2i plus 4j. So 2 times e, so 2e, just means the each uh, the components are multiplied by 2. So I have 6 i hat minus 14 j hat, 3 times 2, and minus 7 times 2. And then I have minus 4f, so each component of f is multiplied by negative 4. So we have negative 20i minus 12j. Okay. All right. And now I'm just uh, adding all of these together to get the resulting vector. It's now just a matter of adding the components. Minus 20 plus 6 minus 2 is going to be uh, minus 16 i hat, and then minus 12 minus 14 plus 4 is gives me minus 22 j hat. And there's our answer. Now, it'd be worth on your paper just taking a look at trying to do this problem graphically, and it really would be a nightmare of trigonometry to do that. But in components, this type of problem uh, becomes very easy. L let's do a little more with this uh, just for practice. So now we have this, this uh, vector. Let's say we now asked, what is the magnitude? What is the magnitude of this vector? Well, the magnitude is equal to the square root of the sums of the components. So that's 16 squared plus 22 squared. And we don't have to worry about the minus signs because um, we're squaring the terms. And so if I calculate that, we get 27.2. And they're units. We didn't have any units on these, so these are just numbers. That has a magnitude of 27.2. Now, let's say if I asked for the unit vector, what would that be? Well, from before, we learned that the unit vector can be calculated by the original vector divided by the magnitude. And so that, if we do that calculation, we have 1 over 27.2 times the original vector, negative 16 i hat minus 22 j hat. So if I do, I multiply through and then divide both terms by 27.2, I get negative five point, sorry, negative point five eight eight i hat minus point eight o nine j hat. So this is now the unit vector that points in the direction of the vector uh, uh, g. And so if we wanted to know where this uh, vector pointed, we, if we wanted to find the angle at which it pointed, we can do that as well. So let's give ourselves a coordinate system here. Plus x and plus y. This vector is, is pointing somewhere along uh, this direction. And if we want to calculate that angle, we can do that by doing a right triangle where we know that the length of this side is 22, the length of this side is 16, and that tangent of theta, the angle shown, is equal to uh, 16 divided by 22, the length of the opposite over the adjacent. Now remember, this is now just a right triangle always go to your figure when you do these calculations because then uh, you don't have to be confused by the minus signs. You know, tangent theta is just the, the length of uh, the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. Uh, if you do that calculation, you find that the angle is, is 36 degrees. And so a 
another way to write g then is going to be 27.2 or 36 degrees clockwise from negative y axis. 